I think in thinking about the what it means that that women are playing these roles, um, for me, I I did a workshop of this idea um, a couple months ago, and I was really struck by when when women were reading these roles, how it some some expectations or some stereotypes fell away from me of, of, I, I had to check my own, um, my own lens of, oh, boys will, boys will act like this. Girls will act like this. Fathers will act like this. You know, daughters will act like this. And, um, and it allowed for, for more of an experience of like, oh no, Proteus will act like this because this is Proteus. Um, and so my hope in, in our exploration of it with an ensemble is that we'll really see character foregrounded rather than um, cultural expectations of, of, of gender, I think. Um, I think that, that in a way sometimes women, especially in classic plays, are, we're more limited to roles um, than, than we are in the expression of ourselves uh, in everyday life, certainly in, in, in um, 2013 or 2014, as it will be when, when people see this play. Um, so yes, I, I also was really struck by how, how the themes of the play surfaced for me, how the play was unburdened a bit by some of its history. Um, some of the more difficult things about this play uh, to me fell away when I heard it with the same gender cast with all women um, because it was more about character. And I I, I remembered feeling that way uh, about something before and I, it struck me that I, I'd gotten to see Mark Rylance play Olivia um, now close to 10 years ago um, in, in a production that'll go to Broadway um, this next season. and and. And I was so moved by his portrayal of Olivia because it was, it was, it was funny. It was idiosyncratic. It was utterly honest. Um, and and his gender fell away when I watched him play that. And I just saw Olivia in all of her contradictions and and all of her sorrow and her humor. And and I think that um, seeing women play these predominantly male male characters in two gents, I hope will will in a similar way illuminate some new things and allow this story to be to be heard in a new way. So um, I'm playing a lot with really intentional doubling in my casting of, of the piece, which is uh, we're, we're in the process of, of casting it right now. And I think um, one, one thing that we, in looking back at, at, the, at, the, at the history of how these productions were originally done, we think that they were done with, with smaller casts than the number of characters, which meant that, that doubling had to um, be taking place. And I think that there's some inherent fun in seeing an actor play more than one role. Um, so that's something that we're going to lean into in our production, seeing some people play um, a female character and then a male character, a lower class character and a higher class character, really allowing um, for the audience to experience that, what actors do best, which is transform in front of us and transform space um, and story in front of us. It's such a singular space. It's such a unique space in 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 all of the theaters around both the country and the world. And I I really want to um, I really want to embrace the uh, Elizabethan nature of the stage. Um, uh, also, as that as that pertains to looking back to how these plays were originally um, staged with that same gender company. Um, so I think we'll play with a very in Elizabethan inspired aesthetic out there, um, which I'm, which I'm really, really excited by the, the sort of sweep and silhouette of, of costumes in that time period, the sort of fun and play with, um, with, with how, how people, how people dressed back then. And, um, I think it'll be a delightful way both to look back and to, and to look forward in terms of theatrical tradition.